This one's for all the OGs from the start of my channel. Hey guys, Predacraster here, and you may be wondering where I am. Well, let's see. Well, this is kind of where I sort of began. This is where this is a, a server I used to play on a lot. It was called Muchy MC and everything. And I just remembered about this server like a while ago, because you know, I was just a comment asking when am I gonna come back? Or actually, no, that was, that was like only one comment saying if I'm gonna come back. Yeah, you know, I kind of remember this place. But also, I remember there's a, well, a certain game I like to play. Prison, here we go. This is something that I usually play later on, something like that. Look at like there's been a um, map reset or something like that. Is that true? Oh, whoa. It is reset. Here I am again. Actually, wait. It kind of looks the same. I guess. Yeah, I remember. There was. I remember the last time I had. Well, there was a, a Princess Peach like castle here. And also, yeah, I remember there was a little end portal frame thing, and everything. Yeah. All right. So humble beginners, I guess. And we're at rank three. So yeah, this is this is a server I used to play on a lot back back in the good old days, where I would just you know collect money and curl purples here. I would just get money and well, you know. Rank up. As you can see over there, there's pretty much 10 R. I'm assuming the server hasn't reset yet or something because I didn't see anything. At least I don't think so. I'm just gonna say hi and see if anybody responds. I, I doubt anybody remembers D. I remember this person though. They used to help out with the, the events and whatnot. I can't talk to them or anything, so I guess that's not for a reason. So yeah, the goal is to, like, the more you rank up, the more areas you can fix for. For example, this area right here, that's like the D area. Here. This is like a free-for-all area where anybody can enter. Actually, hold on. I don't remember the castle being this bright colorful. Okay, no, this is the A rank. Or is it? Okay. Here's Callahan, the bus driver. Not sure if you guys remember him. Or whoever that is. Alright. So yeah, I guess this is the new D place. Yeah. Yeah, this feels like it. This feels like this would be like an A rank thing, not a D rank thing. But who am I to judge? Alright. So yeah, if you enter these like little gate areas over here, you mean they enter like the cell area where like get to pay like a cell and everything. Any cells that has the word rented on the top means it's already been taken and you can't really do anything about it. You just have to wait for the people to, you know, de rent the cells. But I want to look for a cell that's like a uh, bacon and whatnot. Like this one. Rent cell for this much for this many days. And, <laughs> and if you have the capacity to, you know, log on every week just to extend the rent. Then this is the server for you. Me, I just been like on and off every now and then because, well, you know, I haven't really been the, the most active recently. Nothing really much to it, with all honesty. You just gotta make some money, and that's it. Another thing we could do is crates. We can take right click to get up. So you just place the crate down like this, and get like a random treasure or whatnot. Sometimes it's it's basically blocks you can sell for money. Or something to do with like cool armor pieces. Looks like it's gonna be armor pieces and whatnot. Nope, it's gonna be. Nope, hold on. Weapon? Nope, there's no money. Okay. So when, so when you get stuff like this, you can usually do this slash sell. And you have a whole inventory. So you could sell like purple blocks, oxidized copper, and diamond blocks. We have those, so we can just sell those immediately. And we got more money. And if you take a look at my rank up, we're not at 100%, so we need to rank up. But quickly, I want to do, you do shift and right click to make the crates open faster. So yeah, you don't waste time to see what it is. So we ammo box, we're going to sell that right now. Slash sell. Right click to sell them all. And that's it. Alright, and if you want to rank up, you just do slash rank up. You do it again to make sure that, oh, okay, you want to do this. And that's it. And so you've ranked up. And I've also got an extra crate for doing so. Okay, if I remember correctly, the park area should be past the Ferna. Past the Ferna area, past the chest area. Here it is, the park. This is a this is a spot I usually like to go to because this is like another easy way to make money. So basically what you just do is you just chop down trees and and then just sell the wood with slash wood. I'll show you in a bit if, if the trees ever regenerate because a lot of people Initially, they, they like to go for the trees, it's easy money for them. 
so a lot of times this place is kind of barren. You can go into other areas, like the forest right over here, but that's a PvP area. What do I mean by that? Past this red, past this red carpet, you really enter a PvP area, which means you can get killed by people. Go back inside, and then you're safe. You don't get to be killed up anymore. So, also, sometimes there's these extra cells you can find, like hidden in the area. Like if you're brave enough to f actually find these areas, you can actually rent these cells and whatnot. There's a lot of secret cells around here, so you can so just keep an eye out for anything that may seem a little suspicious. You'll also notice that there's like a lot of things going on in the chat as well. Like everybody's getting like some rares and also some super rares and what and whatnot. Rares are basically items you get from collecting going to the outside world or just getting them in the crates as well. And once you get a rare, you can see they bring to, to their new rare decks. But that is that everything you have a rare decks in your inventory. And it's how many rares. See? Yeah, this question was because I haven't gotten those yet. Oh, perfect timing. And sometimes there's a fence here. Like for example the drug raid, you just don't have any poisons on you, you'll be fine. You gotta like gifted a thousand dollars for it as well. But there are so yeah, they're like random events as you just saw. So they can be like a random. Sometimes like the D might can be filled with gold, diamond, or rainbow. Sometimes like an arcade battle royale. And most and sometimes it can be like a lockdown. In which case the whole area turns into a PvP frenzy. The only safe spot is spawn right here. That'll be the only safe spot. Speeding arcade. Let's see how the arcade's doing. So this is the arcade. This is where you go to like bet your money and you just do the and do the slots and whatnot. Sometimes the, the jackpot's over there. You just slot slot your money and you just bet on whichever blocks they land on. If you win, you get some money. If not, eh, tough luck. There's also crash. Crash over there means you just invest in the start market, and it's kind of like a game of chicken where you just pull out whatever. Like, yeah, and it's and it's very random too on when the things start. Oh, did I say this was the jackpot? This is the Wheel of Fortune thing. This is the one you bet the box on, my bad. So yeah, you just put some money in there, see see what you bet on. If it lands on the block you want, you win the money. If it does if it don't if it don't land on the block you want, you lose the money. Jackpot I think is just everybody bets on, puts their money in, and however much money everybody puts aside, that's how much money they're gonna win. Oh, snow racers, that's an undertale reference as well. You just basically just bet on a style. It's like kind of one of those horse races you bet on. Just bet on a style to win, and if the style wins, you get the money. If they don't win, well, tough luck as well. So yeah, that's basically the arcade. There's a person right over there watching me, I think. You also may notice I'm using a special Nether Star. This is a quick tool. After you get to places everywhere else and whatnot. And yeah, you see like some news and whatnot. Some challenges, your skills, and also your certain whoops. As you can see, the whoops are red because, well, I'm a low rig, so I can't teleport these. When they're green, that means you can teleport to them. Also, this, most of the things are unlockable for first hand, but other times you have to just basically be like a good rank and whatnot. Also, why is this person name red? Well, I'll tell you why. Because, well, they have like a certain ranks. The red one is basically the Mafia, the green one is basically uh, something, the blue one is the Brutes, and the art and the orange ones, I have no idea. Yeah it's, yeah, it's been a while since I've done this, so yeah, bear with me on this one. So you have thugs, you have savages, you have Brutes, and Mafias. That sort of stuff. Yeah, so there's no info on the green at the moment, but I do know the savages, thugs, and the Brutes, and the Mafia. I'm pretty sure the green is like the Illuminati or something like that. Oh, this is a fun one, the black market. They people just like put anything up for auction, at a high price or a low price. So you gotta be really lucky on this one. The skill set shows shows what you've done over the years, like if you actually if thing is how much things you did and whatnot. For example, the looting, the deep miner, the harvest, and the mob hunter, along with Angler's Hall. The challenges are basically things you can do on a daily basis. For example, you can cut 100 logs, or you can harvest 10 hundred drugs, or crops, as I want to call it. Mine a thousand logs, kill a hundred mobs, or loot a hundred, hundred enchanted chests. That's basically the easy stuff. The, hard, the little harder ones get a little bit harder right over here. A catch fish, ultra rare, and everything else in between. 
maybe. So yeah, that's basically the basics, I guess. That's all I can say. The only thing I haven't showed you yet is the outside world. That's where things really get interesting. So, so once you pass this portal, you mainly enter the, what's called the outside area. And whatnot. So, once you pass this line, there's no going back. You actually have... There's, there's no going back. And you have to actually come back inside here now. There used to be multiple exits we could like re-enter, but now they just updated to just one. So, once you leave this spot, then you're no longer protected. The only way you can be saved is if you enter those specific gates right over there. That's it. So, right now I'm safe enough, but as soon as I leave this air right here, then I'm not so safe. And there's people right over there. By people, I mean like mobs. Yeah, mobs will spawn here. So, yeah, I'm just gonna go back before I, I get any harm done to me. Let's see let's see if the trees have a set so I can show you what I mean by, by selling wood. Oh no, they haven't. Okay, so sometimes the trees just don't reset. Sometimes, and you're stuck with like a whole vast of nothingness. So your only option is to go to the mines. But right now, I don't have really access to many mines. The only mines I have access to is the is the D1 mine. And by D1 mine, I mean well, basically just trash, like the like the ne like the normal mine right here. We just have to pass the PVP area, and we're good. Oh jeez. Okay, we're good. There are some familiar names I'm seeing over here. I did say hi, but I don't think anyone said hi back to me as well. Just do slash vote, and just click on the links. You go to each link, and then you just do like a vote, this server, and whatnot. As you saw, you can quickly get, as you saw, you can get like up to three vote voting crates per day. It kind of resets after that. Why are you, why are you guys dropping bucks? You can use, use this to sell money. Yeah, sometimes people just drop a random box. I don't know why, but hey, at least it helps like it helps the the, the, whole, the poor people, you know. So the standard crate gives you like diamonds and, and guard using ones. The voting crate gives you like any vast majority of items. From rares to to semi rares and whatnot. To the gold rares and what so those are the goals. Oh I got a lucky pickaxe. Alright. Cool. That means I get like that means it's like fortune and whatnot. And of course, the rest, the rest is all like blocks you can sell. Whoa, 99 blocks of emerald. Oh my gosh, I gotta sell all those. That's amazing. So fun fact, the miners and the lucky pickers can't actually be upgraded. As you can see, it says you 250 bucks until the next upgrade. It means, which means it's a fortune one, but after mining 250 bucks, it'll go to fortune two and so forth. Also, as you can tell, for every, for every rank up you get, you get like a crate. And each different crate gives you something different. For example, it's a goon crate, a gift crate, a vote crate, a thug crate, a savage crate, a moffin crate, sobs, prison crates, Christmas crate, creature, and you see we have none of these. But yeah, that's about it. Oh, oh wait, is that who I think it is? Yeah, it's Andy. Oh my gosh, it's Andy. It's really him. If you guys don't, if you guys remember, he's like an old, he's like an old friend I, I used to play with a lot back in the day, and he did help me a lot, like like, like map nine and, and above, but so so it's basically. I think he's trying to, I think he's trying to say hi. I think so, yeah. Hi, right, yeah, it's been a long time, buddy. How you been? Man, all right, real quick, I gotta sell a few things. Hold on. <laughs> anyway, I gotta go to Twig. I think this is the one where it tells you. I think this is the one where it tells you when the parks were set or whatnot. I could be wrong, but I do remember there was a Twig which said, hmm. "What's this?" Oh my gosh! Okay, I for I forgot. I forgot as a goon, Andy has like a lot of stuff he can do. It is great. Okay. Also, you can see probably tell the server's getting pretty full around this time. I'm just oh, where'd he go? I guess he's gone. I guess anyway, a long time ago, yeah. There are also like a few other friends like Old Blizzard, Februarys, and who else? Oh wow, what was his name? Of Munchkins. I all those people, yeah. Also, I just realized I can now visit the safer mines now. I can visit the D3 mine and just mine away. I guess. All right. Yeah, it's a little more safer. Most because you could teleport to this area now. As opposed to Ooh, purple block. That's very rare. Nice. 
Oh, okay. Okay, you gotta... Okay, I, I completely forgot. You have to be careful. Wait, isn't that Chance? Yeah, it's Chance. I'm a, Okay, another person I remember. Oh my gosh, this, this kid's been... This kid's doing a lot of work. So how can you do it in 27 seconds or 25 seconds now without I'm talking? Because this thing's going to reset probably soon enough. Alright. Also, also strange, but oxidized copper, copper sells even more than the normal copper. Strange, but okay. Sure, why not? For now, I'm just going to tell as it is. Oh, okay, there we go. Now he's trapped. Okay. There you go, kid. Okay. Good, I thought he was going to be he's stuck in there forever. Alright. That's basically the basics. And we're at the D4 mine. Actually, I think since we're at D4 right now, we could probably go to... Oh, it's Red Velvet Cake. Oh, I didn't I didn't know he could be here. That's cool. If I remember correctly, he's, I remember, he's the one that told me about map 10. I was like, oh, okay, that was cool. Yeah, it's kind of cool, yeah, it's kinda cool to, to, to see him here, you know. Red Velvet Cake. Alright, then. Anyway, I have done with that cameo. Let's go to the farm area. Because I think now we can enter the farm. This is where people can like produce crops or whatnot, and I can see they've incorporated the new other crop things. And just like the cells, you can also run them for this many days. This, and in the center, is the most dangerous spot of them all. The melon PvP. Where you can just go mine some melons, but actually no, I think it's glass over there. Well yeah, glass and melons. But you have to be careful, like once you go in there, they'll hunt you down. I, I had a few bad experiences with that. Around a mile ago. But I'm better than that, it's pretty, you know, solid. And now we're officially at a sea run break. Which is now we can explore the other cells, but first, great time. Okay, yeah, this I remember now. It was like a whole Luigi's Mansion kind of style thing. But missed and whatnot. Then we got the like, better cells and whatnot. Alright. I have our main man Luigi right here. What does he do? He just sells stuff. And that's it. Body and Amethyst? You know your own Amethyst? Okay. Okay, yeah, there we go. Getting some Luigi's Mansion sort of lab right now. And as you can see, the cells are much bigger now. A little more spacious, not as, but a little more spacious. I said, I think I might wait until I get to the A cell at then, because I think that's the biggest one. If not prestige. Okay, so we're back at spot now. So I guess that's, that's where I'm gonna leave it off for now. Hey, it's Neon Muffin. I, yeah, I remember this person. They were the ones saying, hey, don't mine a certain tree. Don't do this, don't do that. <laughs> uh, and I think they just left. Okay. Uh, guess, I, guess I showed them. All right, well then. Since there's no other crates I could do, since I already got them all the wooden crates, I think I'm gonna call it off time over here. I may, I may or may not come back to this. It kind of depends on how I'm feeling, and if and if everything else is, you know, pretty much fine and whatnot. But maybe once in a while I'll come back. I'll come back here, but who knows? So yeah, thank y'all so much for watching. Let me know, we know what you guys think in the comments section below. If you're enjoying this stuff in the meantime, new novel stuff coming soon. Hopefully my character gets to advance or something. And yeah, that's about it. I'll see you in a video. Take care. Bye for now.